Hello, I'm Jim Dossel, and I'm here to uh, bring you an overview of the Northampton flood control system. Uh, the system was built in 1940 uh, by the Army Corps of Engineers, and they turned it over to the city to run and maintain uh, forever. The flood control system starts at College Lane at the dam on Paradise Pond. The Old Mill River bed was diverted down across West Street to South Street and then to the Oxbow. The drainage from the lower portion of the city still follows the Old Mill River bed to the flood control station. The other half of the flood control system starts at Pomeroy Terrace at the College Church and then loops around to Henry Street, over to Hockenham Road, then down to the flood control station. It continues on across the railroad tracks, crosses Route 5, and ties into the high ground in the back of Lyman Road. When the flood control station is put into operation, the gates are dropped to catch any debris coming down the channel. Water is diverted to the pump well in the flood control station. There are three engines capable of pumping 50,000 gallons a minute. One of these is a diesel installed about 25 years ago. The other two are 1940 vintage Sterling gasoline engines driving the pumps. Replacement parts cannot be bought for these antiquated machines. As of November 2013, one of these engines is down and parts have been sent to a machine shop for repair. Without these pumps, the city is vulnerable to flooding. There are three stop log structures, one at West Street, Route 66, one at the railroad crossing on Pleasant Street, and one on Route 5 by the bowling alley. The flood control dike system effectively creates a bowl around the lower portion of the city. The city has a flood control emergency plan and it is as follows. With the river elevation 106, we close the gate on the old mill riverbed and activate the flood control staffing. River elevation 107, the DPW closes Pension Meadow Road and Old Springfield Road. The DPW notifies dispatch and they alert police and fire. River Elevation 112, Central Dispatch notifies police, fire, mayor, central services, building inspector, and the Red Cross. The River Elevation 115 to 116, Montom Road nears flooding, Island Road and Ferry Street are closed. DPW and Ventures Field Road and Hockenham Road are closed. Police Department closes Montom Road at Atwood Drive. Fire Department sets up Emergency Management Center. At River Elevation 120, the mayor decides whether to call the Emergency Flood Board to a meeting at Carlin Drive. Emergency Manager orders B&M Railroad closed. DPW closes Old Ferry Road and installs center uprights for stop log structure at Route 5 and Montom Road. River Elevation 124. The sill at the stop log structure begins flooding Route 5. Stop log structure at B&M Railroad is one foot from flooding. Route 5 and railroad stop log structures are fully erected. Route 91 exit 18 ordered close. River elevation 127, the mayor requests the governor to declare a state of emergency. The DPW erects full stop log structures on West Street. River elevation 130, the water is at the top of the concrete wall at the flood control station. Flood control and wastewater treatment plant personnel evacuate facilities. The flood control station has been activated 300 plus times since 1945. The gate is closed at elevation 107, protecting the inner city and the farmland in the meadows is left vulnerable to flooding. 
The flood control system protects Northampton from potential flooding. The map shows what could happen if the dikes fail or the pumping station fails to operate. At river elevation 118, flooding of Lower Pleasant Street, Lower Conn Street, and Hockenham Road areas. At river elevation 127, all of Conn Street, Veterans Field, parts of Holly Street, and up to Bridge Street. At river elevation 137, all of Holly Street, Pleasant Street to Main, and Market to King. At elevation 147, the entire lower portion of the city would be underwater. To bring the flood control system in compliance, the city of Northampton must invest in its upkeep and maintenance. The stone riprap lining the Mill River bed and outside of the dike system needs to be cleared of all growth. The dikes require a 15-foot access road extending from the bottom on both sides. Any trees or structures in that zone must be removed. Parts of the Mill River need to be dredged. The flood control station may need upgrade or replacement. Future studies will determine which avenue to pursue. The Army Corps of Engineers has mandated that we do studies on the dike elevations and the flood control stations to determine cost.